Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to move, delete, or add nodes when working with paths in GIMP. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. Let's dive in here. To demonstrate, I'm going to create a path around my text. And to do that, what I have to do is come over here to the layer group that contains my text. And if you just have a single layer, click on that single layer. And then I'm going to alt click to create a selection from all of the layers inside that layer group. Then I'll come over here to my paths tab and your paths tab might be located somewhere different. You can always go to windows, dockable dialogues, paths, and that will take you to the paths tab. So now I'll come over here and click on selection to path to create a path from that selection shape. I'll hit control shift A or go to select none to deselect that selection. And then I'll click the show hide icon next to that path. And now we can see our path around the text. So now what I'll do is come over here to my toolbox and grab the paths tool. You can also use the B shortcut key and then click on that path we just created. So now you'll see all of the nodes that make up this path. So I'll hold control, zoom in with my mouse wheel. For starters, I'll show you how to move nodes. So all you gotta do is click on the node you wanna move and just drag it around and then release your mouse once you wanna place it somewhere. You can also shift click to select multiple nodes. You'll know when your nodes are selected because they will just be a stroke. There's not gonna be any fill in there and then you can click and drag those nodes you have selected. So that's how you move multiple nodes. So I'm just gonna use the middle click on my mouse to move over on my composition. Next up, I'll show you how to remove nodes from a path. So to delete nodes from a path, just click on the node that you want to delete and hit the backspace key. So I did not say the delete key, that is a separate key on the keyboard that will not delete your nodes, you have to use the backspace key. And once again, if you want to delete multiple nodes simultaneously, you can shift click. Let me hit control Z, make sure you actually click on the node itself. So shift click to select multiple nodes, then hit the backspace key, and that will get rid of those nodes. Keep in mind that if you are deleting nodes along a straight line, it will for the most part maintain the straight line but if I hold control and zoom in with my mouse wheel, if I were to delete nodes that are along a curve, like in this case, so I'll hit the backspace key, you'll see that the curve is going to change now so that it now uh, goes in between these two nodes that are remaining. And if once again, I delete this node, you'll see the curve will change even more. So it's basically just adjusting the curve to fit better in between the nodes that are remaining. So let me now hold control, zoom out with my mouse wheel and use the middle click to move over to add a node to a path in GIMP with your path tool active and your path selected here still. All you need to do is hover your mouse over the line segment that you wanna add the node to and then hold the control key. And you'll see my little mouse pointer there will have a plus sign now just above that path symbol. If you don't have the plus sign, it means you're not hovered over a line segment or a curve. So make sure you're hovered over that curve and then click, and that is going to add the node to the path. So this is not gonna work if you hover your mouse over a node that's already there. You'll see it's just gonna give you the option to move that node or select that node. You do have to be on a segment or a curve of the path that does not currently have a node, and then you can click to add that node, of course, holding the control key. So hold the control key, hover over, click, you got a new node. All right, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.